Hey, you guys, this is Adolfo with NerdStalker, at NerdStalker on Twitter, NerdStalker.com, NerdStalker TV on YouTube. Okay, well, I'm here to tell you about a text expansion alternative called A-Text. It's a Mac utility for expanding text snippets, right? Uh, things you type in that you can actually set, and it will expand out entire paragraphs. It's great for emails, email signatures, chunks of code, invoking Apple scripts, all kinds of amazing things. Uh, really, your imagination is the limit, and uh, it's only five bucks. I know uh, a lot of you are text expander users, and unfortunately now, it was already a pretty expensive product, and it is premium. However, now they've went to a subscription model, which is a real, real turnoff. Um, and I just want to pay for it once kind of thing, and this is a no-brainer here, A-Text. Uh, the URL is trankynam.com forward slash A-Text, uh, and it's only five bucks. And it does all of these things. There's a ton of features, as you can see, right? Invoke Apple scripts, built-in snips, it, snippets, works in virtual machines. If you happen to be a Windows user or a different OS user in parallels, obviously with VirtualBox and all that stuff, it syncs the file itself, your snippets file, uh, can be synced via iCloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, SkyDrive, or whatever. Uh, I use mine in Google Drive at the moment. And so to avoid any sort of file corruptions and things like that, you can do formatted text. You can insert images with it. Oh, it's it's incredible. I use it primarily for email signatures and uh, email drafts I have for various businesses that I have. And um, let's check it out, right? So here we have an email draft uh, from Gmail, if you will, right? And let's look at uh, a text itself. So this is kind of the basic interface here where what you can do is there's some canned ones like thank you, URL kind of thing, and uh, some that I've set myself and we'll write one ourselves here, right? So let's delete this test one. Yeah, I'm deleting a one that I created earlier. And let's just try one of these. Let's try the thank you. So we go semicolon kx. Boom, look at that. Uh, D date. Bam! Isn't that great? Uh, T time. So you see what you're doing is just doing these key combinations that are set right over here. These dark circles, um, and they and here's some labels. And if I hover over it, this is the window, right? So this is the abbreviation that you would set. Or you know, there's a lot of out of the box that I deleted because I use my own. And then this is what outputs. And then you could set a label for it, right? Um, this one's thank you um let's do let's do this one my www this is a default one which is really nice because it shows you how it hyperlinks it for you my www bam look at that and what's great about this is that it's already the html is behind the scenes it's already linkable you know the href is set uh and there's the url so you don't have to fiddle with any of that so you can see the potential of this thing right and how powerful it is let's do uh check out one of my signatures so this is my nerd stalker signature here you'll see a ns sig i set that boom and then there's so outputs this big old signature and um i have a product owner show uh, called the product owner toolkit uh, that it's coming out soon look out for that podcast and i have an invite letter that goes as so um i've set it here bam you can see that i you can also set field names which is amazing right so if i have a letter that i want to set to someone so let's just clear this out right here and delete that and um let's see the code is invite po right so if i type in invite po i get this pop-up box here and if my invitation person is someone named Paul, for instance, I just type it in there or whatever you want. And I've crafted this long email and I hit OK and bam, there it is, right? With the name Paul and everything there. It's it's really wonderful and super handy. Uh, you can do this and set as many as you want. It's uh, I, can't, I can't tell you how great this thing is. Uh, you can do emojis. You can set images since you could do full formatting here. Let's uh, set this emoji so I can show you an example of that. Oops and the smiley face boom and there's the emoji right there took a little flickering but it worked uh so you see it's i i can't tell you how many great things you can do with this thing uh let's create a new one here and i'll show you how it kind of works and um so you see it has this weird thing by default here so you'll want to give it a label here let's call this one test and you see it's setting the real time right there and then this is where you put in the key combination i'm going to do semicolon t e and we'll say um this is a test for nerd stalker 
right? So now if I go over here and I type in our combination, which was semicolon TE, um, this is what should happen, semicolon TE, bam. So it outputs it. So that's as easy as, you know, you're going to create it. So what I would suggest what you can do for, with your emails or signatures is go to a Google document or whatever, craft your particular piece of content or code or whatever you happen to do and check it out and you know, fiddle with it all you want and then put it in a text. And then, you know, just go nuts. It's pretty amazing, right? So I hope uh, this was worth, uh, brought you some sort of value here. And again, check them out at Trankinam. Dot com. We're not making any money at this. There's no referral fee or anything we're getting uh, for any of this. We just love this product this much uh, that we're recommending it. So a text, a wonderful uh, text expansion utility um, that I highly suggest. I mean, for five dollars, it's a no-brainer. Uh, thanks for watching this Nerdstalker tip. Again, my name's Adolfo Fronda at Nerdstalker on Twitter. Go to Nerdstalker.com or just subscribe to our videos on YouTube at Nerdstalker TV, Nerdstalker TV. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.